Thank you, Dave. Makes me think of the beach. And if you've been to the beach lately, you might have seen a lot of jellyfish on the shore and in the water. Yeah, KSBY News reporter Alexa Bertola joins us live from beautiful Pismo Beach with a look. Alexa. Scott, if you've been out to Pismo Beach lately, chances are you've probably come across a jellyfish. Now, it's important not to step or touch them because you can still get stung. It's summertime, and for some, that means sunshine, surf, and sand. I mean, I've surfed here for years, and uh, I haven't really seen jellyfish too much, like one once every six months, but now all of a sudden I'm seeing them every day. And he's not the only one. This surfer had a slightly painful encounter with one. So I was surfing north side and uh, without booties, and I felt this like tingling thing, kind of like pins and needles, like wrapped around my foot. So I pulled up my foot, and then I saw the tentacle like wrapped around my foot, so then I like peeled it off. The Central Coast Aquarium, which has some on display, says all these jellies mean we might be in the midst of a jelly bloom. The bloom could be caused by a change in weather or a change in currents. It creates a lot more nutrients in our waters, which ends up being a great feast for the jellies, and they rep reproduce so quickly that it ends up creating this huge bloom. There was a lot out this morning. I saw like three out in the water. And then uh, there's a bunch on the beach right now. If you do happen to find them along the beaches as well, it's best not to touch them. Um, it's best to go just have a lifeguard help remove it. Even though they are beached, they can still have active stingers. Other beachgoers have spotted more stingrays near the shore. The best advice if you see one of those is to do the stingray shuffle. Then they'll be able to sense the vibrations and then they'll swim away. The ocean is home to many creatures. This surfer says he even saw a shark just last week. It was about 20 feet away from me and it had to be at least eight feet long. I saw the fin come up and then the tail kick and I know it wasn't a dolphin. And if you do get stung by a jellyfish, it's recommended that you put hot water as well as vinegar on it. For now, live and local in Pismo Beach, Alexa Bertola, KSBY News. I have to practice the stingray shuffle. Thank you, Alexa. And if you're stung by a stingray, you'll want to seek medical attention to have the barb removed.